As the first set loads in this Trans-Iowa parlor, Michael, using a gloved hand, cleans the teats, strips them, and then dips them. Notice the kick rail position, the cow visibility, and how close Michael is to the cows, allowing him to stand straight up. Since this is the first set, the units are still in the manifolds. Proper udder preparation is important for milk let down and also milk quality. In a bit, we're going to visit up on top the cow platform. The cows, as you see, stand very comfortably with plenty of head space for uh, ventilation and not pushing forward on the brisket rail, but instead pushing back on the rump rail. The eight cows have no stall work between them. The pin bones do not contact the splash guard, which is a very important point. So the only stress point on the cow is the rump rail, which is the bottom rail of the splash guard. Again, the cow is standing very comfortably with the chop gate visible. Notice the cows do not touch the pin bones on the back there. The splash guard has an 8-inch offset from the bottom to the top to fit the rear end of the cow very 